Hello and you're watching the History Fellow Channel. In today's video we're looking at Field Marshal Douglas Haig. Field Marshal Douglas Haig was born on 19th of June 1861 and would die on the 29th of January 1928. Haig was a senior officer of the British Army. During the First World War he commanded the British Expeditionary Force or the BEF, on the Western Front, from late 1915 until the end of the war. He was commander during the Battle of the Somme, the Battle of Arras, and the Third Battle of Ypres, the German Spring Offensive and the Hundred Days Offensive. His military career included service in the War Office, where he was instrumental in the creation of the Territorial Force in 1908. In January 1917, he was promoted to the rank of Field Marshal, subsequently leading the BEF during the final Hundred Days Offensive, when it crossed the Canal de Nord and broke through the Hindenburg Line, capturing 188,000 German prisoners. This campaign, in com combination with the Kiel Mutiny and the Wilhelmshaven Mutiny, the proclamation of the Republic on 9th of November 1918 and the civil run unrest across Germany led to the armistice of the 11th of November 1918. It is considered by some historians to be one of the greatest victories ever achieved by a British-led army. He gained a favourable reputation during the immediate post-war years, with his funeral becoming a day of national mourning. However, he also had some prominent contemporary detractors and beginning in 1960 has been widely criticised for his leadership during the First World War. He was nicknamed Butcher Haig for the two million British casualties who endured under his command. The Canadian War Museum comments his epic but costly offensives at the Somme, 1916, and Passchendaele, 1917, has become nearly synonymous with the carnage and futility of the First World War. Major General John Davidson, one of Haig's biographers, praised Haig's leadership, and since the 1980s many historians have argued that the public hatred with which Haig's name has come to be associated with, failed to recognise the adoption of new tactics and technologies by forces under his command. The important role played by his British forces in the Allied victory of 1918, and that high casualties were a consequence of the tactical and strategic realities of the time. <laughs> 